I got uh, I got January 9th circled on my calendar between mm. the the Giants and the football team. Uh, <laughs> then what I still a, haven't gotten used to that. What a still matchup. Haven't used to that. What a what a what a matchup of two NFC heavyweights right there. The Washington <laughs> football team and the New York football Giants. Well, one I of think... those teams, one of those teams will host a playoff game by the way. That I that's what I'm thinking too cuz I I mean the Eagles are a tire fire and you know we don't really know what we're going to get out of the Cowboys and in in Dak's return. Uh, which did you see that Dak was the fourth highest uh, grossing like athlete in in the world? Yeah, or, yeah, the, yeah. He, yeah they gave that him. That like unbelievable. They gave him like yeah, a forty million dollar a year contract. So yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but that's that's a forty million dollar a year contract on top of making sixty plus in endorsements. Who? I, yeah, I'm not seeing him in commercials. That's unbelievable. yeah, no, no. He has the one, I, I forgot what it was, but he he does have a commercial that like kind of one of well, there's one that like I think chronicles his his uh, rehab. Um, I don't know. That's like a sports athletic wear commercial. The other one, there's another one out there. I think it's like for Microsoft Surface. I don't know, but he's well, getting paid. All I know is that if, all I know is that is Dak Prescott's the fourth highest grossing athlete in the world. Then sports is doing something wrong. Change, got to change. Got to figure something else out. But anyway, I I have January 9th circled in that calendar just because of what you just said. One of those two teams will be hosting a playoff game, and I will not be surprised. If it comes down to that very game, decide which one of them it will be. And, you know, I think I think the Giants are going to play, uh, you know, eight or eight, I guess it'd be nine wins. Right. They'll, they'll go nine and eight would be the uh, would be the record to be over 500. You know, a nine or ten win team you're looking at. I think the, the what Redskins or the football team, excuse me. I think the football team you're looking at a nine or ten win team. And I think the Cowboys have a chance to be an eight, nine, ten win team. So I, I think you're looking at a division that's going to be right around that mark between those three teams, and uh, you know you're going to, it's going to come down to those games. The Giants play the the football team on January 9th. They play the Bears in Chicago on January 2nd, and then they play the Eagles in in Philadelphia on December 26th. You know the, they you have just a pretty wait. Cool you just wait till we see Joe Flacco play. December football in the NFC East. That's dangerous. That's yeah. le- I'm not capping. That's legitimately <laughs> dangerous for you guys. <laughs> well, listen, listen to this back half. We're talking the Giants. The Giants last eight games at Tampa Bay, home against Philadelphia, at Miami, at Los Angeles, the Chargers, uh, home against Dallas, at Philadelphia, at Chicago, home against Washington. Like the only one of those games – that you look at that and say they could get that without like they could get that pretty easily is is the game against the Chargers, and the rest of those games you're looking at an uphill battle in each one of those games. Uh, I mean, excluding excluding Philadelphia, but you know, I mean, they could always surprise us if uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, <laughs> as as some would say, and some would say, but uh, you know, it's it's an uphill battle for the Giants in the in the second half of the season, so they uh, they can't get off to a start like they did last season. And uh, and and just play awful, you know. They gotta they gotta get their wins early, put them in the bank, and uh, they'll have some some tough games that'll hopefully forge uh, a team that can go far in the playoffs. But you know, we'll see. We'll see what, what it do looks you, like. What do you what uh, do you consider far in the playoffs for the Giants next year? Like honestly, I think they can win a playoff game. Like they're not they're not gonna no, win yeah, a Super Bowl or anything. Fine. But they okay, could. I don't okay. see why they they yeah, could win a they, playoff game. Yeah, like I, I think they're they're like, hosting. Well, a, if they win, they're not going to win the wild card, right? They're not going to be good enough to win the wild card, uh, which is which is unbelievably ironic. But uh, they'll host a playoff game. And if you're hosting a playoff game, you should be able to win it, right? Like I don't care who you are. The the Seahawks won that game, right? The, 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 the seven and nine Seahawks won that game, so you should be able to win a playoff game. If Hell, it's Washington almost city. won their game. Washington almost won yeah. their game last year. Like like that. Those, those seven and nine teams, they compete. They compete they now. Do. Mm-hmm. So, so if you're if you're hosting a playoff game, you should be able to win it. And if I think the Giants can win the NFC East, I think they can at least win one. I don't think that they're better than some of the other teams in the NFC that are gonna that are gonna you know challenge Kansas City and Tampa Bay for for that top spot in the in the league uh, in the in the whole league, not the NFC because the Chiefs don't play in the NFC. But uh, yeah, I, I think the Giants can win a playoff game. Well, I don't see why not. You know, I mean, obviously their their fate is uh, extrinsically tied to Daniel Jones, and you know we'll we'll see what Daniel Jones looks like. I uh, I can't tell you he's going to be any better than he was last season, and he was not very good last season. So uh, you know, if he takes that leap, the next step forward, you know, and and is a league average quarterback, is a guy who can, you know, you can rely on to make some plays for you, and win you some football games. 
then, you know, the Giants defense is going to be very good, I think. And, uh, you know, Saquon's coming back. So we will see what Kadarius Tony brings to the team. So, you know, the, they could be dynamic offensively, but, uh, you know, it'll probably take some time for them to put it all together. If Daniel Jones can be as productive a football player as Albert Pujols was a baseball player for the <laughs> Los Angeles Angels, they're going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be all right. That's all. Look, I'm not, I'm not asking for anything crazy. Give me I and I'm, I'm good with that because they've been, you know, they, they've been a, a tire fire for the better half of a decade now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to watch some winning football. It's their turn. The, the Mets have given me winning baseball. The Knicks are giving me winning basketball. It's the Giants' turn to give me some winning football. It might you be know, the Giants' turn upset. to, like, be in a, be in like a 10-year drought, honestly, the, the way <laughs> that things are looking for, your, for uh, New York sports teams. Yeah, well, they, you know, it's been, it's been, uh, you know, five, six years since they've been any good. So, hey, man, you know. hey, hey, they six and ten, one game out of first place. All right, one game out of first place. <laughs> the amount of shit I got for saying the Giants didn't belong, not just from you, from like people in a live chat on a stream I did, was insane. They were like they were just like. The Eagles cost us. This was calculated. Brr, the keyboard Giants keyboard warrior. I am. I am. I don't know what it is about New York fans, man. Y'all are. Y'all are something else. I love y'all. Love the passion. But damn, logic. Yeah, New Yorker. Ooh. New Yorkers are something else. God bless. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.